Stanford University. In the 1980s, I was a teenager and I was living in the town of Pozzuoli, southern Italy. During that period, the ground was constantly shaken by micro earthquakes and they were following a period of intense uplift that lasts more than two years. One main question that later on as an adult and as a geophysicist I tried to uh, answer was what's the nature and the properties of the rocks of Campofregae? Why do those rocks withstand um, such high uh, strain before breaking? In the Campofregae caldera there is a lead which we call a cup rock. The cup rock is made of pozzolana, the volcanic ash from Campofregae. The microstructure of this um, rock is made of mineral fibers that are called uh, tobemorite and ettringite. Tobemorite and ettringite are minerals that are found in man-made concrete, including Roman concrete. Actually, Romans engineered their concrete by using the pozzolana from Pozzuoli and mixing the pozzolana with lime. The Romans used the concrete to build the Pantheon, the Colosseum, but they also shipped the pozzolana throughout the Mediterranean, making possible the construction of several arbors. So once we found tobemorite and ettringite in the cup rock of the Campifragrae, the question was, where does the lime come from? So at that point, we decide to analyze the rocks uh, that are deeper in the caldera. And by analyzing those rocks, we discovered that those rocks contain spherules of graphite and a mineral that is called actinolite. Those two components were really the proof to demonstrate that the deep rocks of uh, the Campofregae calderas decompose because of heat and the presence of mineral fluids that lead to the formation of compounds like methane and CO2, but most importantly, the lime. The lime that forms at that then reacts with the pozzolana-rich layer, transforming that layer into concrete-like rock. Tomemborite and ettringite form a very intricate network of fibers. The cap rock of Campifugre, because of the presence of fibers, is able to withstand much larger deformation without immediately breaking. And that's the main reason why the town experienced such large deformation, which is much larger compared to any other calderas in the world. If we understand both chemical and mechanical uh, conditions that we may have in uh, calderas, that can help us devise uh, new materials that are capable of withstanding larger stresses, uh, as well as novel technique for restoring aging architecture.